Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Puppet tool in Adobe Photoshop. So we're going to be taking this image right here and then manipulating the person in the image and changing them around uh, with the Puppet tool. So let's get started on this. Uh, first things first, import your footage or your photo. I got this from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service where you pay a monthly fee and get an unlimited amount of stock photos, footage, templates. Check out the link in the description below. Once you have your footage imported, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go up to Select and then down to Subject. This is going to select the subject for me right like so. Now this doesn't need to be perfect. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to hit the command or control J button. This is going to duplicate the footage with only our selection. So you can see we've actually cut out the person pretty quickly by doing that. We are then going to go back to this footage and then go back to our selection and make that selection one more time. Wait a second. And once we're selected one more time, we're now going to go to our selection. We're going to go down to modify and then expand. This is going to expand our outside edge here. The reason being is you can see near the thumb how it doesn't capture all of the thumb. Right here, it's a little inside of the yellow. So for this next step, we just want to get the general area where the person is. So now we've selected that general area. We can actually then go up into edit content aware fill. And it's going to then take all of the surrounding area and fill in the person. So now it's going to make this person disappear. We're going to click that apply button. Okay. And this person is now going to be on a different layer. So you can see that when this layer is on, it hides the person behind. So now what we have is we have cut the person out separate from the background, and now we can begin manipulating them. So we're going to go up to select, deselect, make sure that we are selected on our top layer, the one with the person still attached. We are then going to go to edit and then down to puppet warp. And now with this, you kind of got to play around with what you want to do with it. So for example, I want to move the arms a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one on the wrist. We're going to put one on the shoulder, one on the wrist, one on the shoulder, and we can then manipulate it. Now, if you wanted to move, for example, the legs, we can do like, for example, one on the hip bone, the knee and the ankle, hip bone, knee, ankle. And then once you get close, you can then move it. So we can take this and we can warp it up, warp this one over. Now, understand this is not going to be checking to make sure it isn't crazy. So if you do stuff like this, it is cool that it'll actually put it behind the person. But there's no amount of realism here if you make it too crazy. So if you want to stretch his arm way out, you can, but you want to try to keep it looking decently realistic through here. For example, this leg, there's no way you're gonna be able to extend this leg looking naturally, the data just isn't there. But you can, for example, maybe bring it down a touch. Well, it still looks a little bring the knee in a little bit. And you can manipulate it just a touch to whatever you need uh, it to fit. For example, maybe you're manipulating this because you had text that was right here and he's blocking that text. So we can actually even take the entire person once we've cut them out and move them over as well. And then change up the hands and we are good to go. Quick note, this down here is your shadow. If you're doing this, for example, with a shadow, you may actually have to select this individually by using like a pen tool and using the warp on that to match this. Otherwise, the shadow will betray your change. But that is how you quickly use the puppet tool in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. And until next time, see ya.